Hello everyone, my name is Pyth GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. When we left off, we defeated Plantera at long last and for the first time in the series. And what we will be doing in this episode is we are going to go to the dungeon, the hard mode dungeon, which of course is over on the left hand side of the map. And we are going to see if we can't get some new hard mode items and weapons and such. Because you can get things like the sniper rifle, you can get a magnet sphere, you can get the shadow beam staff, you can get all kinds of really cool weapons uh, for use in the end game event, which of course involve the frost moon and the pumpkin moon, I believe. And obviously, we do still have a boss left still to do. Well, actually, we still got. Two, we have Duke Fishron, and we also have Gollum, but I don't think we're really quite prepared for either of them to the minute, so we're going to go ahead to the dungeon, uh, we're going to try and farm up some ectoplasm, and we're going to see if we can get some, uh, get some things rolling over there. Right, so what I would like to do first is I would like to grab myself some gold coins, I would like to find the wizard, where is the wizard? Are you over here? Yes, you are. Oh, baby. Oh, right. I'm going to buy a bunch of mana potions from you. Thank you. Oh, you're very kind. You're very kind indeed. There we go. 50. Uh, do I have a mana flower? I do indeed. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, armored magic cuffs. I could perhaps go without the horseshoe for now because these guarding... Armored, so that, that actually gives me one more defense, and of course, uh, every time I get hurt, uh, my mana is actually regenerated really quickly, so that's really good. We have a grenade launcher, do we have any ammunition for that? It would be nice. Do I have ammunition? Come on, buddy, it's gonna be somewhere. I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, my ammunition is in my golden house. I always forget where the ammunition is. There's something wrong with me, I swear to God. There we go, rocket one. That's what it's called. 35 range damage. So 35 plus 55 equals 90 damage. Holy goddamn! <laughs> That's a lot! That is a lot! Right, okay. So we have a magic dagger, which is really nice, because, of course, uh, you can throw it really fast. It does a really nice amount of damage per time. Uh, but in this case, it doesn't have extra damage, so... Would it perhaps be worth reforging this thing? It does have extra speed on it, but I wouldn't mind having extra damage on it as well, because that'd be really nice to have. Right. Right, okay. I'm just going to grab one platinum out. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to buy... This is where I'm going to try and be smart. I'm going to buy a piggy bank for use down in the dungeon, so we can just quick stack our coins, and if we die, we won't lose so many of them. Uh, no, you're the wrong dude. Please! Please do give me a piggy bank. Thank you. Very, very kind. So very kind. Okay, let's go up here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Zon. How are you doing? Okay. Please. Taboo. Hmm. Don't like that. Uh, don't like that. Uh, don't like that. Unpleasant. Don't like that. Lazy. Don't like that. Inept. Don't like. <laughs> Strong. Zealous. Masterful. Hey, there we go. 46 damage. Minus 17% mana cost. Uses 4 mana. Nice! Oh man, okay, we used almost an entire platinum coin to do that, that was almost not worth it, <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? Right, so I do have some plans with the dungeon, I have gone ahead off camera and I have mined up all of the traps that are in the uh, the uh, in the lizard or jungle temple. As you can see, we got all the wooden spikes from there. We got all the pressure plates, and of course, we got all the traps themselves. What I am thinking of doing is taking some of these traps and using them in a dungeon to create what is essentially a farm. Because I don't see why that sh I, I don't see why it shouldn't work. To be honest with you, right? Uh, what I need to do, ah oh, man, I need to remember how to do this. Uh, you can make a timer somehow. I think I need gold bars. Uh, do I need... I need chains. I think I need chains. So I need to make a watch. And I need to do things from there. Right, hold on. Uh, where's my anvil at? Where's my anvil? Uh, no, I don't need an anvil. I need a furnace. I need one lead bar or iron bar, whatever the hell you want to call it. Boom. Okay, there we go. Right, now we go to the anvil. Okay, so we make some chains. Okay, now I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, the clock is made... Ah, here it is! You make it at a regular table, so we've got a gold watch, 
which is really nice because that will allow us to make a one second timer which essentially sends a uh, what is equivalent to a redstone pulse every second so that's really cool uh, so let's just uh, remind ourselves go on and watch uh, one second timer oh we just need a bit of wire holy crap I didn't realize that <laughs> nice hey buddy hi so uh, yeah you're gonna go ahead and give me a wrench uh, I'll tell you what, you're going to give me one of each colour. There we go. Uh, we're going to buy a whole buttload of this stuff. I have no idea how much I need, to be honest with you. So, uh, that's what we're going for. Booster track, yellow pressure plate. Hmm. Right. The idea is we're going to have, like, a big box room where the bottom is where the mobs will spawn and then they will also die because, you know, we've got all these damn things. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Right, okay, uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a bunch of mana potions in here as well. Okay, so I think we need to go to an anvil and then we can make the timer. Is that correct or no? Ooh, this is the first time I've ever made this thing. Ooh, okay. Well, I can't say I've ever dabbled with the uh, with the wiring mechanics on Terraria before, but this this should certainly be interesting. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to skip ahead to when I get to the dungeon, and hopefully we should be able to find a room big enough to uh, to call a trap room, basically. So I will meet you guys at the dungeon. Alrighty guys, we're just about at the dungeon and one of the things I noticed is right above the dungeon is an unexplored sky island. Oh my god, how the hell did I not notice this? It's really close to the ground as well. Oh man, there is something wrong with my eyesight ladies and gentlemen. I am 100% sure of that. Right, okay, so we're going to go up here really quick. We're going to see what we get. Have I already explored? No, because it's, it's not being explored according to the map. Uh, okay, what's this? Uh, oh, a horseshoe. Okay, that's not really too useful right now, but, you know, I guess it's still okay. Right, okay, here we go. Down into the hard mode dungeon. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. And I'm also not looking forward to this because I know the mobs inside of this dungeon now do a hell of a lot of damage. Good lord. Hey, look, we can set a spawn point. I forgot we had this thing here. There we go. Let's do that. So in case we do die, we don't have to keep coming back, which is always good. Okay. Okay. Going down. Are we in the dungeon? What the? Okay, we've got demon altars down here. Did not... Ah! Hi! Hi! Hi, hi! Hi! How you doing? 21 silver coins. Good lord, it gives me a lot. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to complain about getting 21 silver coins from one freaking mob. Oh, yeah. Please. Wow, this, this doesn't do a lot of damage against these dudes. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, I need to rethink my weapon strategies. Holy god damn. Okay, here we go. Descending into the realms of hell. This probably will be like hell, which is why I'm referring to it as hell. Okay, here we go. Let's just descend all the way down, like you do. Oh my god, what the hell? Jeez, that's a gigantic... This is like a gigantic version of those little cursed school things. Holy moly. Okay. Hello. What the hell are you? A tactical skeleton. Ooh. Ah. What the... What the devil are you? Oh, good lord. What the hell? i got a SWAT help. What are you? Bone Lee? What? Uh. I don't think I like this. Oh, don't... Oh, okay. I didn't leave my... I hate you so much. This dude appears to do a load of damage. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Okay, this is already starting to get a bit hairy. I've lost a lot of health. Okay, is there anything over... Oh no, not those shadow beam dudes. I hate them so much. We didn't even explore over here? Ow. Really? 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 Okay. Oh, oh, right, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is... This is going to be harder than I first thought. I'm not going to lie, guys. Ragged caster? What? Dude, I don't like this. We are getting absolutely smashed to bits. Holy moly. This is not... Oh, not again, not again, not again, not again. Ah! Yee! Why you do this? Why can't you just leave me alone? Wait, can he shoot through... He can shoot through walls. He can shoot through walls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hmm. 
Well, I can't believe I didn't explore this part of the dungeon, to be honest with you. I thought we explored pretty much everything. Uh, that's the last blooming health potion as well. I really didn't think this through, did I? Good lord. Ugh. Right, I tell you what, guys. I'm going to be back with you guys in a second when I get some more health potions. Alrighty, guys. I am just about back. And as you can see, I have bought myself another stack of greater healing potions, which is always useful, I guess. So, I guess without further ado... Time for round two! Here we go. Oh man. I imagine there's going to be a lot of deaths and therefore maybe rage on this episode, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> oh, I can hear you, Mr. Digger. Worm thing. I, yes, I can. I can hear you. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Yeah, you, you blooming dead, you damn fool. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid spikes. You got regular spikes, and yet for some reason the wooden spikes do more damage. What kind of sense does that make? You'd expect the metal ones to do more damage, wouldn't you? Honestly? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just play the game. I'm not the one who codes it. Right, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. You appear to have what? I don't know. It looks like a shotgun. Is that what he's got? Has he got a shotgun on him? What the hell are you? Hell armored bones. Oh, God. Hey, our first ectoplasm. Nice. Oh, man. If we get five ectoplasm... We will be able to make a uh, an event summoner. We will be able to make either the Frost Moon or... Oh, what the bloody hell is the other one called? Uh, the Frost Moon or the Pumpkin Moon summoners. Ah, no, 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 Please, leave me alone. What have I done to you? Oh, man, I'm losing health quick. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, this is... I need to... I want to find a box-shaped room. Okay, a box-shaped room. This looks okay. Wait, another unexplored part of the dungeon? Are you for real? Man, there's so much I didn't explore. I honestly thought I did explore it all, but I obviously didn't. Oh no, not another one. Oh, hey, more ectoplasm. Nice, okay. Good day to you, sir. Can you do me a favor and stop trying to kill me? All I want to do is get some rare weapons, you know? Well, what's wrong with trying to get rare weapons, you damn fool? Okay. Eh. Please die. My god, this dungeon is actually hard. <laughs> Which I guess kind of adds to the meaning or reasoning behind why it's called a hard mode dungeon. Yee. Right, okay. Carrying on, I guess. We do still have a bunch of water candles about, which of course we can get rid of. Or we could put them in the trap room and we can use... What the? Yeah, we could put them in the trap room and I think that'd be a good idea, right? Increase the spawn rates, therefore increasing the chances of getting drops, I guess. Right, okay. Oh, good lord, your dad's come along. Hello. Oh, god. Can you, uh, like, die? Thanks. Oh, no, Bone Lee. It's Bone Lee again. No, 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 no. You dead yet? Are you for real? Good lord, he's got a lot of health, hasn't he? Can you die? Thanks. Holy mother of god. Right, okay. A box-shaped room. Hmm. I'm looking for one. Uh, one that's sort of segregated. This up here looks reasonable. Okay, let's go up here. Let's have a look at what this room looks like. We're going to see if we can't make ourselves a little trap or something, something out of this. Uh, oh, God. No, no, no. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. He does so much damage. Oh, my God. Uh, but the one good thing about them mobs is they have a chance of dropping the weapon that they're using... Which I believe, in that case, is called an Inferno Fork. Oh god! Okay, hello? Right, give me that! Damn fool. Right, okay, uh... Hey, look, there's an underground house over there. Pfft. Yeah, because I need them right now. Oh god! Dude, these, these dudes are literally everywhere. I can't catch a break right now. Good lord. Hey, hey, look, more, more blooming things that I don't need. Actually, this looks like a pretty nice space. We can go ahead and box out this room. And we can go ahead and make it into a trap room. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to do that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's pretty segregated away from all the other parts of the dungeon. So, spawn rates here should be pretty good. And I'm saying should. Should, should, should. It should be pretty good. Right, okay. Right, so we are going to attempt to create... A trap room right here. Okay, we're going to attempt to create a trap room. And then from there, we should be able to get a bunch of mobs to spawn. And then we can just kill them with ease. You know? I mean, 
That's just awesome. <laughs> it's just an awesome idea, right? Right, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do in which case is I'm going to work on this just a little bit off camera. And I shall be back with you guys once I have come up with a trap room design. This may take a while because, of course, this is the first ever time I've ever done sort of a trap room. So, you know, sort of new thing for me, but it should be interesting. So, yeah, see you guys in a second. Ah! Paladin! I think Paladin has spawned! Oh, God! Oh, can't possibly defeat him at this point! Oh, God damn! Okay. Ah! Okay, Death Numero Dolt is coming! Oh, boy. I don't like this. I don't think I could... I literally don't think I could defeat Paladin at this point. Oh, my God. Well, it's been nice knowing you, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do myself a favour and just get the hell out, because that is... That is some scary stuff. Uh, no! No, 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 ah, ah, ah. Okay, I am in an impossible fight right now. I can't possibly defeat Paladin. But I really need to get down there so I can do my trap room. Oh! Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I almost killed myself. Oh, good lord. Okay. Oh, I am not thinking about things today. Ah! Ah! Uh. Okay, my my brain is not functioning correctly today. Uh, uh, this is just a bad idea. So, uh, yeah, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> I've got 30 health left out of 500. Haha, <laughs> he not doing too good. Can't believe I didn't die right there. I'm not going to lie right now. Okay, uh, can I make a campfire? Yes or no, I can indeed. I can place it though. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it! Stupid ass. Okay. Just like Captain Ass. Alright, here we go. Ooh! Eee! No, 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 no. This is, this is, ah! Holy moly! These guys do not want to give up, do they? Holy smokes! Okay. Uh. Uh. What the hell do I do in this situation? Wait, right okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Okay. Get them all to get- what the- we got a Nazar! A Nazar, a Nazar. This is one of the things needed, one of the rarer things in my opinion to get. Uh, it's needed for the Mega Accessory, which of course is the Ankh Charm. Uh, oh my god, this is going to work. It's not stopping! <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! What do we get from all that? We've got some more armor polish. We've got like loads of armor polish right now. We've got two of them. And we've got a bunch back at base as well. Good lord. We've got this bloody thing here as well. God damn it. Right, okay. I must admit, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. Because we're getting all kinds of mobs spawning around this place. And none of them appear to... Oh, no. None of them appear to want to give... How the devil do you spawn over there? I don't get it. Right, okay. I'm going to go and mine my way over here. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. All right, you're welcome. There we go. There we go. I want those dungeon slimes because then I'll be able to. Uh... Oh, okay. All right, I got that. Okay, good stuff. Right, then I can open the chest, get rid of the chest, and therefore that little platform. Oh God damn it. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I, I agree. I agree. All right, they. Ooh. Ah, nice. We got the magnet sphere. That is awesome. Oh man, the Magnus Sphere is a very useful weapon against, well, a very, a very useful sort of first weapon to use against the uh, the end game events, which is very, very nice to have. And obviously, if we have a prefix on it, which at the moment I don't think it does, no, uh, then you know we can have a bunch more damage, and we can get ourselves some mage armor, and then we can go for the old mage approach. Uh, so just to clarify, a bunch of people have been asking me what kind of approach, what kind of class or style are you playing in this let's play? It's just a generic. So sometimes I might be using melee, sometimes I might be using uh, mana and magic. I don't know. It depends on my mood really. It's just at the end of the game I'm pretty sure in my opinion anyway the magic weapons are more effective to use than the melee weapons So, you know, it's certainly something to consider We will probably be making spectre armor at some point in the series. So don't worry your faces that is going to happen Okay, ah uh, 
but I guess for now, <laughs> I apologize if this has been a short episode, but I am going to end the episode right here because, uh, you know, like I said, this is going to be a major pain in the ass to... Yeah, it's going to be a major pain in the ass to build, and therefore I think it would be better if I did it off camera, because then I wouldn't feel so pressured to get it done, you know, quickly. So, you know, I'd rather have things done correctly than done quickly and not correctly if you get what I mean so uh, yeah so thank you very much for watching guys if you did enjoy the episode and of course if you want to see more of the series be sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out don't worry in the next episode I will of course show you the progress I've made with this thing and uh, yeah all should be good from there but for now it is time for me to go thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time Paladin! No! I hate this dude! Oh no! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna end with a death! Oh good sweet lord! I don't know where I am right now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> See you guys next time!